All right, so it's always great to look at them, but what sounds better than a six cylinder British sports car uh, and with a free flow dual exhaust? <laughs> Everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me today on what I call the collector car series. And you say, Tony, well, how can you know what a collector car is versus like a regular classic car? And I say, what? Well, good question. Thank you for asking. Anyway, when I talk about collector cars, I talk about things that uh, are continually going up in value, right? They're like blue chip investments, blue chip stocks, right? They're the, the simple fact you can buy a car like this and over time it has been going up. That, I don't think there's any better hobby than that to be able to enjoy something like a watch is a similar thing too a lot of times watches go up in value and you get to wear them but you don't get the joy of hearing driving feeling and what happens with something like this so when I say collector car for instance this right here is the last year it was made right the next version of the car is very different you either love it or you hate it okay and then we have an amazing color combination right mimosa yellow and detail stuff in here because you're saying that's a really good looking car I'm gonna watch the video and then you know what a lot of times people don't know why it's a great looking car let's talk about that for a quick second when we get to the next sit phase of this and then uh, we'll get into paint quality we'll check the ins insides the trunk all that good stuff we'll go for drive and uh, I'll see you uh, in just a second all right, so I like to talk about paint quality, but before I get into that, I want to talk about supermodels, and I'm not talking about uh, clearly not this, right? I'm talking about this and these here. Now, this is being filmed inside uh, one of our showrooms here, and there are some great looking cars that are uh, in here, right? However, this car on the road outside of here is an exotic classic car. When it goes down the road in this color and the sound it makes with a six cylinder wailing under the hood, and again, back to the collector cars, remember, Remember, these British sports cars are mostly like 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 liter engines, right? They were four cylinder engines. Here we have a nice six cylinder and it makes just a very different sound. All right, lastly, one of the things that most people ask about is tell me about the paint quality, right? Well, pictures can hide paint quality. And I like to do video and I tell you why I like to do that because you can manipulate pictures. Video, we can't, right? We want to see how clear we can see the letters in there, the clearer the letters. But I challenge you to do this before we get into that is to look at the ceiling and the lights in there. See how you can see the lights and the ceiling uh, almost perfect, right? You can see all the beams and whatever. We never use the word perfect here because none of us are perfect. But however, this right here is pretty spectacular, as close to perfect as you're going to get. Look how clear each letter is. Look how you can read all that. All right. And that tells you there the quality of the paint. If this was blurry and you couldn't really read the letters so well, it's not as shiny in person as it would be. All right, so we get two kinds of clients here. One that just want a cool car, don't really care what's under the hood, don't really need to know all that stuff. Um, and others like to go to car shows or tinker under the hood and what have you. This gives you the best of both worlds. Here's why. This car is ready to drive, ready to enjoy this weekend. It's got a green sticker on it. That means it's certified and it's ready for delivery. Secondly, uh, if you did want to enjoy some of the... Um, as I, as I struggle to get this open. <laughs> and the funny thing too, real quick, like why is this over here when I'm coming over there, right? Because this is an English car, an English car is a right-hand drive, and so some of the things you'll see around the car are still English places. Anyway, this right here allows you to go ahead and hook the hood up. Decals, right? If you want to show this car, it looks great because this has all been painted, detailed. It's not spray-bombed black or spray-bombed uh, incorrect colors. Uh, this has lots of receipts with it. It has a uh, power disc brakes. I mean, it has modern things that make for a great driving car. And, and wrapped up in here is also some pride in opening the hood if you wanted to. Even if you don't really care what's under the hood, a friend may ask you or whatever, you want to be able to, to have some pride in that. And this is exactly what you get here. All right, so like the little things, like the new decals and bumpers being polished and uh, how nice the wood dash is, like you can see all that from behind and it makes for a great looking car. Uh, a lot of people will see it and you can see the dual exhausts that are on here. This is the kind of sound that you get from this car. It's very different than typical four cylinder uh, cars that we have. Secondly, if you don't love this uh, uh, trunk rack, right, that you can remove this and we can either uh, uh, weld the holes closed, repaint it and do whatever, or they have a cap system here and we can just paint them uh, the caps the same color as this and you would never even notice it. Some people love this. It 
it's a styling feature. There's plenty of room behind the seats for soft bags as well if you want to go away. The trunk holds lots of bags too. This is more uh, just in case you wanted to put the kids there if they were bad and you want to put some bungees on them. I'm just kidding, I'm not suggesting that. Anyway, uh, what you do want to see is Okay, uh, here, there's plenty of room in here for uh, the soft bags we talked about. Under, under here is a full size spare tire as well, right? A lot of times we don't get cars with spare tires and it's all in there. And one of the things I do notice is this is original paint that's inside this trunk. That's a good sign. Why is that a good sign? Well, first off, we know it was originally mimosa yellow. And secondly, that means that this car here, it doesn't have 500,000 miles on it, right? It's, it's a well taken care of collector car uh, with some updates to it, and that's probably why it drives so well. All right, so you're walking up to your car, you drove it to work on a Friday, and you're saying, man, I love this car. It sounds great. It looks great. But you know what you really care about is what it feels like inside there. So let's do that right now. Let's get inside and see, you know, how, uh, how bigger people get in these cars, right? So I'm 6'1". I got plenty of room in here. The seat probably can go back a little bit more as well. Do that. All right, and then reclines. Uh, but what I love so much about this is it's very British. And what do I mean by that? Well, not many cars came with wood dashes, right? You never see, uh, you know, a, a Corvette with a whole wood dash, right? These are very British English touches. This shift knob is custom, this uh, upgraded steering wheel. However, a lot of these things like the 140 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tech, full array of gauges here, right? Uh, and it's modernized too. It's got a nice top that works. The windows roll up. It has wipers. Like if you get jammed somewhere in the rain, it's like this car could drive in the rain. It's not so sensitive uh, that it can only be taken out at the very best of times. It does have an upgraded audio system. You may like to put the stock system back in here and we could hide that in the glove box if you wanted to. Uh, some people love that uh, all original dash. Other people like having their music right here and stream from your phone and what have you. And just think about this. You're just driving. And here's what I say about that. I say it's Friday, you're at work, it's four o'clock, you say, you know what, I'm blowing the rest of the day off. I've been here, grounded out all week long. And you call whoever it is that you're on the way home. You say, let's not see you in a little bit. And boom, you turn off the feed. And what do I mean by the feed? Well, I'm talking about the social feed, the boss feed, the internet feed, like all that noise come in and this device in your hand and all of the stuff around you. Put some music on, man, and go for a drive. It is a game changer. You'll feel much better. And uh, the sound alone should give you uh, some happiness. All right, so why why this car versus the other TR6s that are out there? And that's a good question. Let me tell you why I think that's a, the reason, all right? For instance, first off, this is a great looking car. You wouldn't be watching this video. It's a great looking car or we would not have gotten this car here uh, to find a new home with you on it. When you do the detail stuff, the correct center caps, right? These red line tires, Michelin replicas, right? These tires alone, price them out. It's almost $2,000 by the time you add shipping, mounting, balancing, all that stuff. $2,000 just for tires, right? One thing people like about the TR6 too is the fact that it is a six cylinder. It does have 15 inch wheels and tires. So everything about it is a lot more sport oriented. The polished stainless and chrome, this front spoiler that's here, the driving lights that are there, great colors, the interior we looked at is awesome. And it's a functional car, a functional classic sports car that you can enjoy all the time. And if you get jammed in the rain, so be it, right? You got a top that goes up, the windows go up, but whatever. It's not just a fair weather only car with no top. Ah, I got to pull under a bridge somewhere. This right here is designed to go away for the weekend, go to a winery on a Sunday, Go to dinner in this car. Do something, man. It's a game changer. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, last year Triumph TR6. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down there below. That helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. All right, so it's always great to look at them, but it's what sounds better than a six cylinder British sports car uh, and with a free flow dual exhaust?